Hey everyone and welcome to Drone News Now. Welcome to Drone U HQ. My name is Paul. Grateful to be here with you today. In our first piece of news, it looks like the Mavic 4 Pro is coming April 24th, 2025, according to some new leaks, which should be exciting for many people, but not exciting for those who are not ready to pay the tariffs on these new drones. Not much else has come out besides that information, so we're gonna keep it nice and short and sweet. Next piece of news, it seems like another Chinese robotics company has officially been hacked, exposing that these robots can be remotely operated from mainland China. At least that's what we are reporting. The same hacker who exposed DJI's drone vulnerabilities to Congress has now cracked the code on Unitree robotic dogs, proving that they can use a very particular API access methodology to remotely access the drone and, excuse me, to remotely access the robot dogs and humanoid robots and control them without the user's knowledge, raising serious concerns about yet another Chinese robotics company. It really goes to show we need robots and autonomy and drones we can count on and not have to worry about. In all honesty, it would be just really lovely if uh, China could play on the same playbook as everyone else and uh, give us exactly what we need and nothing else. In our next piece of news, a new manufacturer has risen to the top in the United States as K9 Defense unleashes the Genesis drone swarm. As they reported on X, their new quadcopters, the Genesis, is a new edge-based AI allowing them to fly numerous drones in a swarm and act with a hive mentality. These autonomous drones can actually coordinate missions via cloud connection and make them work together, making this the perfect for defense, disaster response, and search and rescue. Really interesting advancements coming out of the transition from foreign to domestic drones. In our last piece of news, many people already know that Boeing won the contract for the sixth generation stealth jet fighter revealed as the X-47. This triangular aircraft isn't just as fa faster, smarter, better, but it actually operates with autonomous drones, creating a manned, unmanned swarm system. I guess that movie Stealth was onto something. Here's the twist. Documents reveal, though, that this aircraft has been flying around for five years, leading many to believe that the so-called UFOs or UAPs that have been seen across U.S. skies were actually the X-47. This triangle-shaped craft, well, is not an alien. But man, are we excited that now we know that once again, it's just history repeats itself, that some of the things that we're seeing in the sky are actually the military. In a piece of drone news we didn't cover last week, the Chinese also developed a new drone, the T-100, that had a one kilogram payload and I believe it could fly for, I think it was like up to 600 miles. Pretty significant payload here. Kind of looks almost like a Cessna airplane, but it is actually a drone with a heavy payload. Isn't that neat? Lots of drone news coming out. Lots of drone news coming out from all over the world. The only place to listen to it is here at Drone News Now, part of the Drone You network. We just want to say thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here today. And if you're ready to learn how to fly with competence and confidence, then you got to learn from the only drone school who actually teaches you from experience. My name is Paul, and I thank you very much for joining me for another episode of Drone News Now, the non-AI version.